Hi all, Ross here, Thomas Classic and Modern. Uh, just thought I would do a very short video on our uh, little bit of a guide to fit in piston rings. We have a set of uh, pistons now that need to have their rings fitted, as you've probably seen in the previous video, hopefully of the uh, fitment of the pistons to the rods. So we'll quickly just run through how we go about doing that. Okay, so we're now gonna move on to fitting the rings to the piston themselves. We've got our com rod just clamped lightly in our soft shells on the vise. Uh, you don't need to, again, same as the piston rings, you don't need to dog them up, you just need them to hold it for you. And then the piston is still a little bit free to move. So we take our oil control ring. We've already made sure that these are really clean. We have just obviously gapped them. So we're now moving on to fitting. There is no top and bottom on the oil control ring, no markings, nothing at all. If your oil control rings have markings, obviously markings to the top of the piston. So how we go about fitting them is, it's a little bit of a fiddle. However, place them in situ, and then with your thumbs, kind of spread the piston ring just enough to slide it all the way down. And we go over where that ring is gonna sit, because we now need to fit the oil control ring in there as well. So again, sometimes these are marked, sometimes they have a small spring in between, joining the two bits together, etc., etc. Uh, just different manufacturers do things different ways. This is obviously very much easier to put in place, a lot more flexibility in that one. So that slots in, and then those two edges just butt up to each other. What we then do is bring this piston ring up so that it sits just underneath that oil control ring in the slot. And there is a, a registration that that oil control ring sits on, sorry, that uh, the bottom scraper ring sits on in the oil control ring. is just like that and then once that's in and registered on its slot the second ring goes in exactly the same way now obviously we don't need to take this one down over the bottom this one just needs to go straight in the top of the slot like so and make sure that that's registered and that's the oil control ring assembled and in its slot the one thing that i would say makes things a little easier when you're installing these three-piece oil control rings is i'll just show you with this one where that joining piece butts together if you make sure that you're not trying to install that gap at the same place as that gap because this will move, that will move, and it won't locate properly. So do them exactly opposite. So that that ring, this solid part of the ring, holds that gap together in the piston slot. A little bit difficult to explain, a little bit difficult to show, but I'm sure that you'll see what I mean as you're coming to do it. And then we have exactly the same process. Uh, for the second ring, center ring, again, make sure it's the correct ring. In this instance, as I said, this is a perfectly square ring. Uh, the next one down has the chamfer. And again, lettering, numbers, markings, always to the top. Exactly the same process. Spread them with your thumbs. Move them down. You just need to move them down just so you just need to spread them just enough to get them in the slot. Don't go mad with them. You will break them. I have broken them. Um, but it, it's, again, a bit of a feel thing. Exactly the same scenario then with the top ring. Numbers to the top. In this instance, the chamfer that is for the top ring also to the top. 
same process spread it open ever so slightly and slide it down into place that is it simple as that all rings nicely located and that's it Okay, so uh, that's it. That is the uh, rings now fitted to those pistons, ready for install. We'll do another video very shortly on how we go about now installing those pistons down the bore. In the meantime, please give us a like and subscribe. Look out for some more videos. And as always, please drop us a comment if you think there's something you would like to see on our channel. Um, and we'll see if we can get that covered for you. Thanks very much for watching.